I did everything I can. Um, I'm sorry, I can't help your dog. You have two minutes before he passes away. You can go say your goodbye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian and um, there's a reason why I didn't wear makeup for this video because I knew it's gonna be an emotional video. This video is gonna be different than my regular videos and if you don't wanna watch it, just click away. This is something I want to share because of what I've gone through and give a message for anyone else out there who is dealing with the same thing that I've dealt with. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. A year ago from today, I experienced one of the most tragic and painful moments in my life. You know, it's the kind of pain where it is almost like physical pain because it is so um, extreme. And, and it's those kind of pain where it just hits you right in the heart. You have nothing to do but just literally fall on the floor and you can't think. Like your thoughts are probably eating at you. If anybody out there who is grieving, who um, have lost someone they loved, whether it be a pet, a family member, a friend. And this is just a video to give you hope. You know, in a, in a hopeless situation because we can't bring back the dead, unfortunately. I, I want to share with you guys briefly of what happened a year ago from today. Sky was my best friend. He went wherever I went. Everybody loved him. And when I say everybody loved him, I literally meant people would not ask me how I am, but they'd be like, how Sky? You know, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm great, thanks for asking. He was the best dog. He literally was the best dog. And he was so smart. I like to say that he had a, a mind of a five-year-old child and he was majestic. Like, I'm gonna insert a picture of him. He was beautiful. It was October 8th, 2017. And it was the second day of ACL. ACL is a music festival in Austin and I had tickets to go. I had work in the morning and I knew that I would be at ACL the rest of the day, so I didn't want Sky to be cooped up in the house. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna take him to work like I usually do, because I worked in a trailer and he could run outside outdoors and play with the customers. Brought him to work, it was a super busy day because it was ACL weekend and it was morning weekend coffee. People wanted um, their daily dose of coffee. And I remember I just didn't have time to keep an eye on him. I was so busy making coffee. And there was one point that I remember like 10 minutes before he got hit, where um, I was so busy making coffee and then he was standing outside the door because he couldn't come in the trailer and he was staring at me, like, like giving me this look of like, can I be inside with you? And I looked at him and I just said, like, I said, like, go, like, go play. I remember I, just, I gave him this look of like, no, 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 go play. And he was so smart. He understands body language. So he listened and then he, he left the door and he went to go play with the customers. And so as I was making coffee, I could see customers throwing the frisbee, um, throwing the tennis ball, playing with him. And then I think it was 10 minutes goes by and my, my boss, Emily, was at the cash register taking orders and then Sky jumps up on the cash register. He was looking for me and I see him and I, I, in my mind, I just think that Sky's being an attention seeker. He has separation issues. He just wants me right now. I don't have time for this. So I just, I ignore Sky. I keep on doing my business. But then my boss, Emily says, hey, Jillian, you know, I think something is wrong with Sky. Go look, go check on him. And I was like, these people are just being overly dramatic. Sky is okay. He is just being an attention seeker. And so I, I get out of the trailer. I go around to the cash register the other side. All the customers are like giving me this look of like, something is wrong with your dog. And I was just like, these people are crazy. So I, I, I go over to Sky, and Sky was like, he was just looking anxious. And I had no idea why he was so anxious, but I said, come on Sky, let's go, let's go. I think it was one of the customers said to me that Sky was hit by a car. And 
I was like, are you sure? Because you know, he looks he looks fine. He was walking, he was fine. My camera just cut out. Okay, so we were in the car. My boss Emily tells me to take Sky home because maybe he needs to rest. So I, it's a short minute drive. I, I live 10 minutes from my house. So I take Sky home in the car. And I remember um, Sky was breathing very, very hard. He was like, Finally, I was like two minutes away from my home and I decided that Sky is acting very, very weird here. He comes from the back seat to the front seat and he lies inside the like seat compartment and he was hiding his face in the wall. And at that point, I knew whenever my dog does that, it means something is bad, something is wrong. And so I didn't take him home. I merely took him to the vet. I call Emily and my like, Emily, where's the nearest vet? And she tells me it's on Slaughter Lane. So I go to Slaughter Lane. And I finally, I reach there and at this point, Sky is like breathing really, really hard. He's gasping for air. And I, um, I, I come around to the passenger seat. I say, come on, Sky, let's go. Well, he was able to walk before, but this time I remember he tried to get up, but then he couldn't get up and he fell back down. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is not good. And so I tried to carry him to bring him, but he was so heavy and he, he was looking at me the entire time. Like looking at me with look of like, 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 what's wrong with me? And so I, I didn't know what to do, so I, I let him go. I go back to the vet. I, I ran in the door, I said, please help me, my dog was hit by a car. And then they came out with stretchers, you know, like at least like five nurses came out and they came out with stretchers and they, they lifted Sky up, they put him on the stretchers. And the entire time I was so scared because Sky was looking at me. It was really difficult. And finally he ran, they ran back to the hospital and they take him to the back. And this is the part where the nurses say, it's gonna be okay, just sit down here, we'll call you when it's ready. Um, just take a deep breath, calm down, call your family. Like 10 minutes later, the doctor comes and visits me. She says, you know, she says, we are doing everything we can. Apparently what happened was when the car hit him, his lungs were punctured and um, he's slowly losing air. And so we're doing everything we can, but it's a very small chance that he's gonna make it. And it wasn't even two, five minutes when she comes back. You know, she removes her gloves and she says, um, I did everything I can. Um, I'm sorry, I can't help your dog. You have two minutes before he passes away. You can go say your goodbye. I remember I just couldn't even understand what she was saying, but I just knew that I had to go be with Sky. So I run back to the back of the room and I see Sky. They had like an oxygen mask on him um, and he was just like taking the biggest breath of air. He was so scared. And the doctor, the doctor said, you know, he's gonna die soon, so just say your goodbye. And I was like, what? No, like help him do something. I was like, I was screaming at the doctor. I was screaming while I was petting. I was like, no, no, no. I was in denial. And finally, the doctor says, I can put him out of his misery because um, he's suffering right now. And I knew that Sky was suffering. And so I wanted him to be pain, free of pain. So I, I said, okay. And I think they injected him with some, you know, medicine that will kill him essentially. And um, I think it was two minutes, his breathing just stopped. Here's the deal, guys, okay, I, I'm a people pleaser. I, 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 I seek attention, I seek validation, and I want the approval, especially of my subscribers, right? You can imagine that having this YouTube channel, I want you guys to like my videos. I want you guys to approve of me. But, and by approving of me, I would need to make videos that um, are likable. But I, I, I can't, like I, I, I want to say something that I know that a lot of you guys would click away and a lot of you guys would just not even listen, but it's the truth and I don't want to hide from the truth. This is how I truly feel is the answer. And um, so if you click away, uh, your loss. No, just kidding. Time doesn't heal. Time covers up wounds. Jesus heals. Yep, I said it. Now everyone's gonna like, oh, yep, she's a preacher, X out. No, I'm not a preacher. I, I'm just someone who is living life and have learned that that is the answer. And when you have found the cure to cancer, would you keep it to yourself or would you share it with the world? Yeah, Sky passed away, but that wasn't God's doing. 
you know, that's just because we live in a broken world. But the thing about Jesus is that, yes, we go through hard times, but he's there with us. And trust me, trust me when I say he was there through the anger, through the denial, you know, through the um, bargaining phase and every single phase he was there. And he's there as my comforter. And so if you're grieving today, let me just tell you that, you know, like you don't have to do this alone. Like Jesus is there for you if you call on him. And so this is Psalms 69 verse 29. I'm hurt and in pain. Give me space for healing and mountain air. Let me shout God's name with a praising song. Let me tell his greatness in a prayer of thanks. So one year ago, if there's one thing I've learned, is to be thankful in whatever season. I am so thankful for everything, the good and the bad, because it was those things that led me to where I am today. And trust me when I say that I am so happy in my life in this season with all the relationships and opportunities that I've been blessed with. I am so thankful for my family who gives me constant support. I'm so thankful to my job that gives me joy and has allowed me to help others. I am happy because of the things I've gone through, not because of the things I avoided, not because of the things that I've done, but I'm happy because of the building blocks that God has placed in my life that has placed me where I am in Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. Do I wish Sky was here? Yes, but then again, no, because I am so busy, I probably don't have time for a dog. And needless to say, we can avoid pain the best we can do is embrace the pain and um, embrace it with Jesus, you know. I think that is all part of life and the moment you choose to embrace the pain, not run from the pain but actually sit, sit in the pain. Let it consume you and it's then that you realize that it's not painful, but actually that pain is going to carry you through life's seasons. And I no longer fear um, feeling hurt because I think it's in the hurt that we grow and it's in the hurt that um, it reminds me of the meaning of life. Yeah, so. That is enough tears for today. I think you guys are tired of me talking and rambling. So I'm going to end this video right now and I'll see you guys next week. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. So goodbye. Should I say you're right? I'm wrong. No, I'll, I'll let the outro do it. So, okay. Bye.